the heart of a city etched with stories of glory and grandeur, amidst the echoes of triumphs and tragedies, rose a figure whose legacy would forever be woven into the fabric of history. This is the tale of Vespasian, a man who emerged from the shadows of turmoil to ascend the highest seat of power in the ancient world. The year was 69 AD, a time marked by chaos and bloodshed known to history as the Year of the Four Emperors. It was in this crucible of power struggles and betrayal that Vespasian, a general of modest origins, would rise to claim the title of Emperor of Rome. But who was this man, and how did his reign shape the empire and its people? Was he a tyrant, a visionary, or perhaps both? Join us as we peel back the layers of time to uncover the story of Vespasian, the founder of the Flavian dynasty, whose controversial legacy is as compelling as the empire he ruled. From monumental triumphs that etched his name into eternity, to the shadows of controversy that lingered long after his reign, the saga of Emperor Vespasian is a testament to the complexities of power, the challenges of leadership, and the enduring quest for legacy amidst the annals of history. Welcome to Historical Corridors. Dive with us into the depths of history as we unravel the story of a ruler who navigated the tumultuous tides of Roman politics to leave an indelible mark on civilization. This is not just the story of a man, but of an empire at its turning point and the enduring legacy that continues to fascinate, debate, and inspire. Let the journey begin. Before the rise of Vespasian, the Roman Empire was a cauldron of unrest, teetering on the edge of chaos. The year 68 AD marked the end of the Julio-Claudian dynasty, igniting a power vacuum that plunged Rome into a year of civil war, known as the Year of the Four Emperors. It was against this backdrop of upheaval that Vespasian, a general stationed in Judea, emerged as an unlikely contender for the throne. His journey to power began far from the epicenter of Roman politics, in the deserts of the East, where he was leading the Roman legions to quell the Jewish rebellion. Vespasian's reputation as a skilled military leader and strategist grew, catching the attention of the armies in Egypt and Judea. On July 1, these legions declared him emperor, setting the stage for a remarkable ascent to power. Joining forces with Mucianus, the governor of Syria, Vespasian consolidated his power base. Together, they orchestrated a campaign that would not only secure Vespasian's position as emperor, but also restore stability to an empire on the brink of collapse. Vespasian's rise from relative obscurity to the pinnacle of Roman power was unprecedented. Unlike his predecessors, his claim to the throne was not born of noble lineage or political intrigue, but forged on the battlefield and backed by the loyalty of his legions. As the new emperor, Vespasian's reign marked a turning point for the Roman Empire. His leadership brought an era of peace and prosperity, laying the foundations for the Flavian dynasty that would shape Rome's destiny for years to come. Among the chapters of Vespasian's storied life, his military achievements stand out as pivotal. Notably, his role in the suppression of the Jewish rebellion marked a turning point both for the empire and for Vespasian himself. The First Jewish-Roman War was significant conflict that underscored Rome's determination to maintain its authority over the provinces. Vespasian, then a general, was tasked with quelling the rebellion, a campaign that would cement his reputation as a formidable military leader. Vespasian's success in Judea was not just a military victory, it was a demonstration of Rome's indomitable will. The suppression of the revolt had a profound impact on the region, reshaping the local geopolitical landscape and reaffirming the Roman Empire's dominance. The acclaim and prestige garnered from his military successes propelled Vespasian from the battlefields of Judea to the throne of the Roman Empire. His campaigns underscored a ruler capable of both fierce determination and strategic foresight. Beyond the battlefield, Vespasian's military achievements had a lasting impact on the Roman Empire, enhancing its territorial integrity and instilling a sense of stability after years of turmoil. 
His leadership during these tumultuous times not only solidified his reputation as a strategic genius, but also as a restorer of peace and prosperity to an empire in need. Vespasian's military prowess was not just a testament to his skill on the battlefield, but also a reflection of his strategic acumen. His campaigns, especially during the First Jewish-Roman War, were marked by decisive actions that reinforced Rome's dominion and showcased the might of the Roman legions under his command. The Siege of Jerusalem, a pivotal moment in the First Jewish-Roman War, stands as a testament to Vespasian's military and strategic genius. His ability to besiege the city not only demonstrated Roman strength, but also underscored his capacity to lead and inspire his troops amidst adversity. For his outstanding military achievements, Vespasian was awarded triumphal honors, a prestigious recognition that underscored his valor and skill as a commander. These honors were not just ceremonial, they were a public acknowledgement of his contributions to the strength and stability of the Roman Empire. The impact of Vespasian's military campaigns extended beyond the battlefield. They laid the groundwork for a period of peace and prosperity, allowing him to undertake monumental building projects like the Colosseum, symbolizing the enduring legacy of his reign. Upon ascending the throne, Vespasian inherited an empire fraught with economic challenges, a treasury depleted by years of civil war and mismanagement, but with a pragmatic approach to governance, he set about restoring fiscal stability to Rome. Vespasian's innovative financial strategies included the introduction of new taxes on seemingly mundane items, such as public urinals. While some of these taxes were met with disdain, they played a crucial role in replenishing the empire's coffers and funding ambitious public works that would become his lasting legacy. Among these projects, the Colosseum stands as a testament to Vespasian's vision. Funded by the spoils of the Jewish war and the new taxes, this architectural marvel was not only a gift to the Roman people, but also a symbol of the Flavian dynasty's power and the empire's renewed strength. The construction of the Colosseum showcased Vespasian's commitment to Roman society, providing a venue for public entertainment and demonstrating the benefits of his economic reforms. Under his leadership, Rome saw a period of peace and prosperity marked by significant advancements in architecture and public infrastructure. The Flavian dynasty, founded by Vespasian in 69 AD, marked a new era in the history of the Roman Empire. Vespasian's rule was not just a personal triumph, but a family endeavor that would shape the empire for decades. Vespasian placed great emphasis on family influence during his reign. His sons, Titus and Domitian, were groomed for leadership, reflecting Vespasian's vision for a dynastic legacy. This preparation was critical for the seamless succession and the dynasty's stability. Titus, Vespasian's elder son, was closely involved in the governance of the empire and military campaigns, most notably the Siege of Jerusalem. His experiences under his father's tutelage prepared him to rule with a blend of military might and compassion. Domitian, though younger, was not left in the shadows. He held significant positions and was entrusted with responsibilities that honed his administrative and political skills, laying the groundwork for his eventual ascension. The Flavian dynasty, through Vespasian's strategic foresight and the capabilities of his sons, left an indelible mark on Rome. Their reigns were characterized by military triumphs, significant architectural projects, and a return to stability after years of turmoil. Vespasian's legacy was not only in his deeds, but in the capable hands of his successors, ensuring the endurance of the Flavian imprint on the Roman world. Emperor Vespasian, ruling from 69 to 79 AD, oversaw an empire of immense diversity. His policies towards various religious groups demonstrated a pragmatic approach to religious integration, essential for maintaining the stability of the vast Roman Empire. Vespasian's reign was marked by a respect for the mosaic of faiths within the empire. While he is perhaps best known for the suppression of the Jewish rebellion, and the consequential destruction of the Jerusalem Temple, 
His religious policies overall aimed at integrating rather than suppressing different faiths. This was evident in his efforts to promote the Roman state religion and the imperial cult, which helped to consolidate his rule and the unity of the empire. Culturally, Vespasian's contributions were significant. His reign saw the flourishing of Roman architecture, most notably with the construction of the Colosseum, a marvel of Roman engineering and a symbol of the Flavian dynasty's power. Beyond monumental architecture, his era witnessed a revival of the arts, literature, and public festivals, enriching Roman society and leaving a lasting legacy on the cultural landscape of the empire. Thus, Vespasian's policies and initiatives fostered a period of relative peace and prosperity by embracing the empire's religious diversity and promoting cultural expression, he not only secured his rule, but also contributed to the enduring legacy of Roman civilization. Despite Vespasian's notable achievements, his reign was not without controversy. Accusations of tyranny, particularly towards the Senate and intellectuals, marred his legacy. Critics argue that Vespasian's consolidation of power often came at the expense of the Senate's authority leading to tensions within the Roman political elite. Moreover, Vespasian's financial policies, while effective in restoring the empire's treasury, were not without their detractors. The introduction of new taxes, including the infamous tax on urinals, was met with disdain by contemporaries who viewed these measures as economic exploitation. Later historians have critiqued Vespasian for these policies arguing that they placed undue burdens on the populace. Yet, others contend that these measures were necessary for the stabilization and growth of the empire, highlighting the complex legacy of Vespasian's reign. Thus, Vespasian's tenure as emperor is a study in contrasts marked by significant achievements and notable controversies. His efforts to ensure the empire's prosperity and stability were sometimes overshadowed by criticisms of tyranny and economic exploitation, underscoring the complexities of imperial governance. Throughout history, the reign of Vespasian has been viewed through various lenses, yet many historians offer a favorable assessment of his time as emperor, highlighting his contributions towards stability and growth in the Roman Empire. Scholars commend Vespasian for his pragmatic leadership and economic policies that replenished the state's treasury, enabling significant public works like the construction of the Colosseum. His reign brought an era of peace and stability following the tumultuous year of the four emperors, re-establishing order and confidence in the imperial system. Vespasian's military achievements and efforts to expand the empire's borders are also lauded. His successful campaigns, particularly in Judea, not only secured Roman dominance, but also filled the empire's coffers, funding the extensive building projects that marked his tenure. The legacy of Vespasian, as viewed by historians, is that of a ruler who overcame the odds. From a humble background to the pinnacle of Roman power, his leadership exemplifies the virtues of diligence, foresight, and a keen sense of statecraft. His reign is seen as a pivotal moment that restored faith in the Roman Empire and set the stage for its continued prosperity. Thus, the historical assessment of Vespasian is largely positive, celebrating his role in steering the Roman Empire through a critical period and laying the foundations for the Flavian dynasty's success. His legacy, underscored by stability, architectural grandeur, and economic growth, continues to captivate scholars and history enthusiasts alike. While Vespasian's reign is often praised for its stability and architectural achievements, it has not escaped criticism from historians. The central points of contention revolve around issues of autocracy and the moral implications of his economic policies. Critics argue that Vespasian's rule marked a continuation of the autocratic tendencies that defined the Roman Empire's shift away from a republic. His consolidation of power and strategic suppression of dissent are seen as indicative of an emperor more interested in control than in republican ideals. Furthermore, Vespasian's economic reforms, while successful in stabilizing the empire's finances, have been scrutinized for their burden on the populace. 
The introduction of new taxes, some on basic necessities, is often cited as a measure that prioritized imperial coffers over the welfare of Roman citizens. Despite these critiques, modern historians offer a nuanced view of Vespasian's legacy. They acknowledge the complexities of governing an expansive and diverse empire, suggesting that his autocratic measures and economic policies were, perhaps, necessary evils in a time of turmoil. In assessing Vespasian's reign, it's crucial to consider the broader historical context. His leadership provided much-needed stability and laid the foundations for the prosperity of the Flavian dynasty. While not without its moral and ethical dilemmas, Vespasian's tenure is a testament to the multifaceted nature of imperial rule. Thus, Vespasian's legacy, as interpreted by historians today, is a blend of commendation and critique, reflecting the enduring debate over the balance between autocracy and prosperity in the annals of empire. As we conclude our journey through the reign of Emperor Vespasian, we've traversed the landscapes of his military triumphs, economic reforms, architectural marvels, and the controversies that shadowed his rule. Vespasian's legacy, like Rome itself, is built on layers of complexity, embodying both the brilliance and the burdens of imperial power. Vespasian's story teaches us the importance of viewing historical figures in the full context of their times. His leadership stabilized an empire in turmoil, yet it also raised questions about autocracy and economic hardship, such as the nature of history rich, multifaceted, and open to interpretation. We invite you to ponder the multifaceted nature of Vespasian's rule and consider the broader implications of his legacy. How do we balance the achievements with the controversies? What can Vespasian's reign teach us about power, responsibility, and the human condition? Share your thoughts and opinions on Vespasian in the comments below. Which aspects of his reign do you find most compelling? And what historical figure should we explore next? Your insights enrich our collective understanding of history and guide our future journeys through the corridors of the past.